Well, you took a big risk today. You're quite happy with how it turned out tonight with a certain selection at quite hard. Huh. Yeah, look, we didn't think it was a risk. Um, yeah, he was close to starting the week before. Um, so, no, he earned it. He, um, he's been fantastic since he's come in. He's contributed massively uh, to discussion, to training, and, um, you know, based on form, it was, it was hard to leave him out. So, uh, I thought he was massive tonight. Yeah, oh, look, I think, yeah, just confidence, experience made a difference. You know, we uh, we didn't want to overplay tonight. We're playing a team that doesn't want to play with the ball. We had to be prepared to kick him a bit of ball back. And, um, yeah, so, look, he, he had a big part to play in that. Did you sort of have to brief him on, I guess, how much leash he had? He could have been throwing 40 metre cutouts. Yeah, oh, look, I mean, we're going to structure how we wanted to play. I, I, you know, I thought he was excellent. He implemented things really well. He was really clear, you know, so, um, you know, I credit to him. He's, um, he's uh, got his detail down and um, able to implement under pressure, you know, gets the, the world champions. So, uh, hell of an effort. Uh, Michael, was it um, at the end there, was it a choice between Quaid and, you know, Reese because of the, because of the um, what's the name, distance? Was that why there was a, you know, talk about it? Yeah. Yeah. So, and, and what, so like, you know, because he kicked from 40 to one, to one sort of, you know, just before that, you know, he went, he was okay? He was really on song with his kicking. So, I mean, had a chat with Dave after the game and sort of thinking the same things. You know, he, the comment was made, it was <laughs> sort of the edge on, on his edge, but then he pumped it another 15 metres. So, I reckon he's got another 10 or 15 on his, uh, he let the club go on that one. So, um, yeah, it was really pleasing. And yeah, I mean, we've got Hodgie there who can bang up another, 10 metres further, but, um, you know, a big time player and big game player and Quaid stepped up and nailed it for us. What did it feel like getting him out there tonight? Did you notice his presence, I guess? I thought he was calm and um, making good decisions around game calling. Um, you know, when the ebbs and flows of the game came, he was uh, a really good um, sort of person to call on to give us a bit of direction and you know, send us in the right uh, right path. So, no, it was uh, really pleasing to have him out here. Um, and a great story for him, huh? I'm just so happy for him that um, he's able to have a game like that uh, for Australia. How, how long can, like, we're looking two years ahead, there's a 35-year-old Quake Cooper. Is that a possibility that he can lead you into a World Cup game, do you think? He'd be a young fella if he was in the Springbok team. Mm -hmm. um, oh, look, of course he could. And... Um, you know, we're not thinking too far ahead at this stage, and neither is he. He was excited to get an opportunity and delivered big time. So, you know, fantastic night for him, and you know, we'll uh, we'll reassess and see how things go. But um, I, I, look, I know he's keen and available for the rest of the year, and uh, we'll, we'll make a call beyond that. Have a look, Michael. Um, just the the fact that you had Yeah, no, we're smart. We we got down to their zone and we took points a couple of times. We built a score there today. Um, you know, it came down to the wire, which I think um, a lot of games tend to with um, South Africa, you know, in the way they play. So I think we've got a lot more in us, hey, in the way that we can move the ball around and, um, you know, receive some of their kicks and what we can do to try and manipulate them. So uh, what we know is that um, when we go into next week, it's going to be, you know, a level up again. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll savour this one for the moment. There's some great stories, you know, a couple of 50s, uh, a debut there tonight and obviously Quaid. So we'll enjoy this and then, you know, six-day turnaround, got to get back on the board. Online, guys. Um, Dave, Quaid aside, what else were you happy with? There were some guys who went to another level that seemed tonight. Yeah, like, you, you play a side like that, you've got to dig deep. Um, there's a lot of collisions. Uh, um, you know, I, I, I thought our, our work ethic uh, was outstanding. Um, you know, we um, yeah we, we knew where they were coming. Uh, they're very direct. And, you know, they like playing without the ball, so they're going to put a lot of ball in the air. And um, you know, I think we we were smart. You know, we we kicked appropriately. We 
we played a fair bit of territory and, and got rewarded at the right end of the field. So, um, yeah, oh, look, it's, it's it's another learning curve, as we talked about. We've, um, we've got some young men. We, we've got, obviously, uh, guys like Slips and Hoops and um, with Quaid and Samu coming back in. We've, we've got a little bit more um, experience and now on the park, and that's helping. 28 penalties in that game, Dave. Absolutely blew the pee out of the whistle. What did you think of the officiating? I mean, clearly Quaid's kick will gloss over some of what possibly happened in the dying stages there. Uh, but yeah, oh, look, I really like Luke as a referee. Um, had him a number of times when I was over in Europe. And, uh, you know, but we'll obviously we'll have a close look at the game and, and give feedback directly to him. Dave, how do you stop those, uh, those rolling moles? Uh, three tries, three rolling moles. Is there a way to stop them? Oh, absolutely. And, you know, we stopped a few other malls and forced them to play away from it, so we've got to do a better job. Um, yeah, I look at our defensive malls, they should have been very good. But um, So, you know, we'll tweak a few things this week and uh, you've only got to get one person getting their role wrong and you can get hurt by a team like South Africa. So, so we've got to be better. Dave, this side's now starting to put together a couple of those real close wins. So two against France, now one against the All Blacks. How much confidence did they take out of that, that July series and out of this game heading forward, knowing you can close games out like this? Yeah, look, it's huge. Um, you know, well, um, if Hoops threw a dummy, we might not have needed a uh, <laughs> penalty late in the game. But, um, oh, look, it's good. I, there's a lot of character in this group. That's why we were incredibly disappointed with the All Blacks series. We played a lot of good footy in there and and had uh, situations where, you know, we just needed to be a bit, little bit more clinical and we could hurt them. So, you know, there's just been so much hard work going on by a lot of people. So fantastic to get a result tonight. You were saying last week you thought this side was close to pulling off something like this. Just what does this mean for this group heading forward into these next couple of weeks? Oh, look, it's, 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 it's a start. You know, we're not going to get carried away with this. Um, uh, yeah, huge character, and, and we're we're proud of that. Um, but but it's only a start. We you know we've got uh, three more games coming up in this series, and uh, you know I'm pretty confident the Springboks will be uh, keen to rip into things next Saturday. So uh, yeah, we're mindful of that. But we're, we're excited to play against best teams in the world. It's, um, it's great learning for us. Dave, you talked last week about how once the team's on the field, you don't have a lot of control about what goes on. But obviously, one thing you do have control over is the uh, subs. Could you talk a little bit about the, the decisions in terms of you know when the subs came on tonight, particularly, obviously, Nick White at halftime? Yeah, Tate, Tate had a, um, an injured shin. Um, it was quite noticeable late in the, in the first half where he was struggling to get to the breakdown quickly. Um, so, yeah, we made that call at halftime. Um, yeah, we normally go on with a bit of an idea around when we might sub some guys, but mostly it's game dependent. And um, yeah, you know, like we were really wrapped with the the effort we got off the bench. Awesome, and, and Michael, just for you, been a while since you've played the Springboks or, or South African teams at all. Um, was it a, a nice reminder of the physicality they bring to the game? Yeah, absolutely. There's some mountains of men in the in their team, and they just keep coming off the bench, you know. So. Um, they play a, a, you know, that was a really South African style of game and, you know, they play that to the death. They lean into it more and more as the game goes on. Um, so you can't shy away from the physicality they're going to bring to the game and we know that that's going to go up again uh, next week. So we're pleased with how we, we ripped into them tonight. You know, I think we can be better definitely in the mall side of things. You know, we had a couple of cracks at, you know, trying to pinch a few. Um, but in terms of uh, the game next week, we've got to be levelled up there. So, um, yeah, I mean, it was just great for, for rugby in Australia to see us playing the, the world champs. You know, I haven't played them in two years and um, great to have them um, down here in, uh, in Australia. And do you think in the time that, you know, they've been away from playing test rugby against Southern Hemisphere teams, do you think they've gotten more South African in their style of play, if, if that's a thing? Well, it's been working pretty well, you know, to, to take down the Lions 2-1, um, you know, and the, the Argentinian team 2-zip uh, there straight away. Um, they're a quality team, you know. You look across the board at their players, um, 
you know, big physical guys up front and then some really good skill out the back. So, um, you know, and they played a, played their full quota tonight. So um, really good confidence for our guys and, you know, um, it's gonna yeah, it's a good night. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Anything else, guys? Happy? Thanks, Thanks guys. Thank you. Uh, Cheers. Thanks all. Cheers.